Welcome back, folks. It is your boy, Editor Matt, and this week just feels like a tutorial week, you know? So with that being said, I present to you motion tracked subtitles. I have done this effect countless times over on Maddie's channel. It's really great for highlighting your key points and I think it looks really clean. And the nice thing is that it's really not too difficult to do at all. All you're gonna need is After Effects and I'm gonna assume that you're editing in Premiere. But at the least, we just need After Effects. The next thing you're gonna need is a shirt with a little bit of detail on it. Not a ton, it can even just be a pocket. But as long as that there is something visual on your shirt that the computer can track, you're good. You probably just wanna avoid an all black shirt or a solid color. If you have wrinkles on your shirt, it actually might work. So there's definitely videos out on the internet that show you how to do this, but I think I have come up with a very unique method that not a lot of people really know about. So with that out of the way, let's jump into editing. All right, here we are in Premiere, and this is the clip that I'm gonna add the effect to. Now this is gonna be pretty meta because you already saw this in the intro. I am editing the intro. Pretty clever. So let me show you the clip that we're gonna do. So with that being said, I present to you motion tracked subtitles. Cool, so when I say motion tracked subtitles, I want motion tracked subtitles to pop up on screen and also be tracked to me. So the first step here is to create our dynamic link to After Effects. You might think, oh, I'm just gonna right click and go replace with After Effects composition. No, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by locking our audio track, hold down Alt and duplicate our video layer. So now we should have a second layer on top of the exact same thing. And now we're gonna unlock our audio layer and our original video file here stays intact. If we don't lock the layer, I'll show you what happens. I'll do it with this clip over here. I'll hold down Alt, drag one up, but now look, that's annoying, I don't want that. So that's why we lock the audio layer. It's just a little trick I came up with. So let's right click on the second clip here and go to replace with After Effects composition. The reason why we create the second layer is because we wanna keep our color grade and everything in Premiere. We don't want to actually take footage into After Effects. We're just gonna have text in After Effects. But obviously we need the clip in After Effects so we can do the motion tracking. So first things first, when it opens up, it's gonna ask me to create an After Effects file. So I'm just gonna go to my project directory, create a folder called AE text. That says test, whatever. So by default, the audio is gonna be muted because we only pulled in a video file, not an audio file. And then I'm just gonna hit L twice to see my waveforms. And now I'm gonna to scrub to the point where I want my text to come up. So in this case, Actually, I think it'll be better if our text is longer. Let's do, I present to you motion tracked subtitles. Okay, so what I'd like to do is actually put markers on each word of the layer, just so that it's a bit easier later on. So to create a marker, you hit the, uh, the star on numpad. Literally, I'm just gonna look at waveforms and my lips, and we got I present to, wait. You motion tracked, motion tracked subtitles. So motion tracked subtitles, perfect. So now that we have our markers in there, we're gonna add our text. Text tool, I present to you, oh my goodness, you motion, Okay, so we have our text in there. I'm actually going to do the animation first and the tracking last. So to start our animation, we're gonna go into our text layer, go to text, go to this animate button here, and we're actually gonna to go to opacity. And then we're gonna go into the range selector, advanced. And the first thing I wanna change is our units. We're gonna change it from percent to index, and then from character to words. So then if we take a look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven words. So what we're gonna do is we're going to scan from the beginning to the end, changing the opacity from zero to 100. So I'm gonna change my end to seven, and then our start's gonna stay zero. And I'm gonna scroll down to opacity here. Now this is the opacity that is within the animation, not the opacity of the text, the animator opacity. So I'm gonna turn that opacity to zero, and then let's hop back into our range selector, and I'm actually going to animate the start. So let's hit that stopwatch to enable keyframes, and then hit U to isolate that attribute. And we're just gonna pull that keyframe to before the very first word. Um, so that'll be zero. And remember those markers, we're gonna to go to the first marker, and we're gonna hit one, and we're gonna go to the next marker and we're gonna hit two. And we're gonna go to the next marker, and we're gonna hit three. 
and then the next marker four, so on, marker five, next one six, last one seven. Perfect. So now if we look at that, there's a problem. We don't want the text to fade in like that. We want it to be hard to just appear. So what we're gonna do is go into the graph editor, which is this button here. Make sure we have our attributes selected. And then we're gonna select all the points on the graph. And then down here, we can convert the keyframes to hold. And that'll make hard transitions between each keyframe as soon as it gets to that point. So let's go back to our regular timeline and take a look. Perfect, so now I can just play around with those keyframes if the timing's off a little bit. Looks good to me, now we can do the actual motion tracking. So I'm gonna scrub to right before the first word comes in, and I'm gonna click on my video layer, and then we're gonna go up to the pen tool and create a mask. This is the step that I do differently that I don't think a lot of other people know about. We're gonna create a triangle on my shirt. Then we're gonna select our layer, hit M, and just disable that mask so it goes to nothing, or none, I should say. And then we're gonna select our mask down here, right click, and go to track mask. And that'll pull up the tracker. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take a look at my hand, make sure that it's not passing my shirt too much. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Let's give her a go. So I'm gonna start right before the first word comes in, and then with mask one selected, I'm gonna go over to the tracker and hit the playhead arrow and this is going to track my shirt. This should take a minute or two. Okay, that is perfect, that's exactly what we want. So this is a pretty new method of doing this. Before you would use the tracker tool and do like a proper motion track. But I find that the mask track is a lot smoother and quicker and does a fantastic job. Now here is where the real trick comes in. We're gonna come up to window, scroll down. There's this little plugin that comes with After Effects. It is called Create Nulls From Path. This is where the real magic happens. We wanna make sure we have our path selected down here, and then we're gonna to go to nulls follow points. And just like that, we have nulls. If you don't know what a null is, it is a attribute placeholder. In this case, it is parenting to the corners of our mask. So what I usually like to do is actually just delete two of them. I'm gonna use null one, it'll delete two and three. And now we can parent our text to the null, and we are good to go. All right, that's pretty awesome. Now we have one more step we want to do. We actually want to disable our video layer, hit save and hop back to Premiere. So now this top layer is only text. So with that being said, I present to you motion track subtitles. Like I said before, we only want that text coming from After Effects because we want to keep our color grade in Premiere. This is where the power of After Effects and Premiere just work so well together. All right guys, that is it, easy as that. That is how you motion track subtitles from Premiere to After Effects. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe and stick around for the next one. Thank you guys for watching, I will see you next time.